Good evening, a good morning, a good afternoon, a good day to you all, depending on where you are in the world. Cross out the, one of those greetings or choose one of those greetings. We're here, we're here once again, aren't we? A live broadcast on Beauty and Sound this weekend. And I should say, cracky, it's hot. <laughs> it's very humid here. Um, but that's not going to stop us enjoying a Sunday night of hymns and organ music and a little bit of waffle with a gentle nod towards Corpus Christi because Corpus Christi uh, was celebrated on Thursday here. Uh, Corpus Christi literally translates uh, to uh, Body of Christ uh, and it's, it's, it's a feast celebrated on a Thursday after Trinity Sunday which itself is a Sunday after uh, Pentecost. Um, I've written it down here, actually. The feast commemorates the belief in the real presence of the body and blood of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. So a lot of the hymns um, for Corpus Christi are Eucharistic hymns, hence why we opened with Soul of my Saviour, Sanctify My Breast. And that this is a hymn um, that focuses on the um, uh, the spiritual union with Christ and is often sung during the uh, Eucharist. Wonderful hymn to start. Well, we've got lots more wonderful hymns, so you better buckle up, sit tight and enjoy the show. The next hymn we're going to go into is another hymn which is completely um, relevant for Corpus Christi. Uh, it's Sweet Sacrament Divine. Uh, this is one of my favourite hymns. It's a beautiful, beautiful tune uh, called Divine Mysteries. Um, Sweet Sacrament Divine, hid in thine earthly home, lo, around thy lowly shrine, with suppliant hearts we come. Jesus, to thee our voice we raise in songs of love and heartfelt praise. Sweet sacrament divine, sweet sacrament divine. Such a gorgeous tune requires a really gorgeous registration. So we'll have the mutations. And I should say a huge thank you to, uh, uh, to Margot, who's kicked off tonight's uh, donations uh, with a very generous $49, uh, $50. So Margot, thank you very much indeed for that. Sweet Sacrament Divine to the tune Divine Mysteries.
beautiful hymn, obviously so appropriate uh, for Corpus Christi, with the first, um, the first, the first line, "Sweet Sacrament Divine." Um, words by um, Reverend Stanfield. Cool. Okay, so those were two hymns which I popped in uh, because they were relevant to Corpus Christi. So now we're going to have our first um, requested hymn. And I'm going to hand over to Daniel Kubaki today for our, our first request. Now, Daniel's in a Gibbons mood. <laughs> the Gibbons um, being an English composer. So Daniel's going through... I don't know if he's going to find all of the Gibbons hymns, because there are a lot of them. But he's requested today, uh, Forth in, in thy name, O Lord, I go, my daily labour to pursue thee, only thee, resolve to know in all I think or speak or do. It's a gorgeous tune called uh, Song 34, um, sometimes known as Angel's Song, and it's by... Gibbons, and this is what it sounds like.
a really fabulous hymn. There's a um, little wonder why Gibbons was, is such a um, treasure to our heritage here in England. He wrote some really glorious music, uh, lots of choral music, um, choirs up and down the country and around the world, of course, um, sing Gibbons' wonderful music. Um, and, you know, wonderful hymns like that as well. Beautiful, beautiful harmonies. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, so now we have um, a request from um, Heki, or Heiki, um, who says, Hi, Richard and BIS community. I don't think um, this very beautiful German hymn has been played uh, before on virtual church, and uh, I would love to hear it. <clears throat> it's O Jesu... Um, all mine Lieben bist du, um, which as Heike has given me, Heike has given me the translation of is, Oh Jesus, you are my life, you are my treasure, help in my distress, my best refuge, you are my joy, you bless my journey, you are my peace, my freedom, thank you, Jesus. Um, so this is a German choral. Uh, I don't know anything about this particular tune um, and I've never heard it before but I don't recognize it so I think it's going to be rather fun to experience it together I'll solo out the tune so you'll have a so you can actually hear how it goes and then there are three verses and then you're on your own basically let's go yeah let's bring it out on the, the great trumpet So, O Jesu, all mine lieben bist du. I, I find these German Lutheran chorales, you know, these these tunes that are sung in in both Germany um, and, and and Dutch hymns as well. I find them really striking. You know, I think um, there's a very different flavour to the hymns um, across our countries, isn't there? Those chorales are very dig uh, dignified, strong, majestic, powerful. Stately, you know, they don't, they're not particularly fast moving, and the harmony is very refined. 
lots of lots of gravitas, you know. But hey, thank you, thank you very much for re 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 requesting that. That's very um, that very kind of you. So if you want to make any live requests tonight, of course you can. Uh, just leave me, uh, drop me a, a tip in the in the tip jar. Um, actually, I should have done some washing up, but those I think those most of those are from last night, actually from the recital. If you want to make a live request, just leave a super chat uh, for any amount, and then we'll play that. We've got the uh, pre-requests, which are from the BIS requests form. Link to that is in the description of this video. Uh, and then we're going to go into a top five tonight. Uh, Carmen, you're up tonight. Um, although I would have liked a little bit more uh, text, if I'm honest. A little bit more background about yourself. One of the wonderful things about top five is actually learn something about you. But you're a little bit of an enigma. So maybe next time they give me a little bit more information about you. That would be uh, oh, Carmen, that would be, thank you very much. <laughs> um, so we've got a Carmen top five, and then we've got the live requests after that. Okay, so the next uh, request, which is a pre-request, uh, has come in from um, Benjamin Yao, who is, who's requested, uh, a wonderful grace of Jesus, greater than all my sin. How shall my tongue describe it? Where shall its praise begin? Taking away my burden, setting my spirit free, for the wonderful grace of Jesus reaches me. And then the refrain is essentially, uh, wonderful, the matchless grace of Jesus. If you want to find it online, I'm sure you can. Benjamin says, uh, a hymn with... Uh, <laughs> ben, he says... A hymn with cheeky singing parts, commonly sung during our Sunday school sessions. Important note, so this is obviously a um, note to performer. The melody of the first eight bars of the refrain is in the tenor bass. Okay. Okay. Um, interesting to know. While the alto and soprano sing a counter melody. The melody for the rest of the refrain is then in the alto and soprano part. Okay, so the first eight bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's get um, a cheeky solo stop for the, um, for the tune in the refrain then, shall we? See how we? Let's see how this one goes. I don't think I know this one. So maybe you do. If you do, let me know. Let's enjoy it.
It's always so, honestly, it's so wonderful. When I've never heard a hymn, I mean, I, I will hold my hands up and say I've never heard that hymn in my entire life. Um, and to see people in the chat say, oh, I've not heard this one for decades. It's like, it's like that's a win. That's brilliant. Hands up. Put hands up in the chat as an emoji if you knew that hymn. How many of you knew it? Give me a thumbs up if you knew that one. That's <laughs> good fun, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. <laughs> Donna says, never heard it, but I think Bill knew it. <laughs> Eleanor, well, you, you, you knew it. There we go. So who else knew it? Mary Mouse, Carmen Foster, Carolyn Clark, Donna. Oh, loads of you knew it. Give over. <laughs> Oh, that's fair enough. Well, if you knew it, then that's great. I didn't. But that's, why, that's one of the reasons why I, I always look forward to sitting right here. Simply because I don't know a lot of these hymns that you guys come up with. And it, this, is, this is like an education for me. Right, let's just um, go like, literally the polar opposite of what we've just had to one of the most gorgeous and well-known hymns in, a, in inverted quotation marks. It's not really a hymn, more of a plain song chant. Um, one of the most glorious plain song chants. Oh, I've gone to the wrong one, hang on. Um, it's of the glorious body telling uh, to, the plain, uh, play, to the plain chant uh, Panje Lingua. Number 268 in the NEH, if by any chance you are following in the NEH. So we have a few of these verses. So this hymn is, is really rele uh, relevant um, words written by St. Thomas um, Aqu Aquinas. And it's one of the most, I think this is one of the most well-known tunes associated with uh, Corpus Christi. Uh, the last two verses of, of this, uh, therefore we before him bending, this great sacrament revere. Um, are, you know, the, the, totally relevant for for um, for the Eucharist of the glorious body telling. So let's have a little bit of plain song. Um, obviously, we won't have all of the verses because you know it's not quite the same, is it? Without someone singing it. So. Another question for the chat, actually. I, I mentioned the NEH just now. Um, which, so the question, sort of one question really, but sort of two parts to it. Do you follow the hymns in VC with a hymn book? And if so, which hymn book do you follow with? Okay, so of the glorious body um, telling. I think, oh gosh, I think there is actually a video of me one of more, one of more, one of my more daring uploads, a video of me singing this. I'm not sure I do that again. <laughs> I have to find, look very hard to find that. I think.
glorious, glorious hymn, isn't it? Pange lingua gloriosi corpius mysterium of the glorious body telling. Oh, my tongue, its mysteries sing. Cool, beautiful, my favourite um, hymn for Corpus Christi. Right, where are we going to next? So, thank you very much, Juan. It's just awesome. Thank you very much, for everyone, for joining in. Got nearly 250. Um, I think now will be a really good time to see who is in. So if you are in and if you're... Uh, you, uh, you, you dare come out of the woodwork give me a plus one and your location let's see let's see if we've got anyone today from somewhere that we've never had someone from before that probably doesn't make sense but give me a plus one and your location i love seeing so i can see people doing it already yay so you you crack on and i'll have a look at that uh, so the next request comes in from james mossop i just saw james he's from workington in the uk and James has asked for one of the um, great uh, uplifting hymns. It's Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer. You all know that I like this one. Um, Comrontha is the tune. Look at all of you people giving me your location. That's fantastic. You keep going. Organ guy, Phil. <laughs> Hello. Florida is one of my favorite places, I think. Um, whenever I see Florida on um, any sort of video, it always looks just stunning. Another one, Stephen from Florida. Um, lots of people from the UK. Denmark. Hi, Peter. Um, wow! So many of you. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm in, I'm in uh, Hampshire in the UK, where today it's very humid. <laughs> uh, we're hoping for a little bit of a thunderstorm. Hoping, because... I tell you what, the weather out there is just, it's that really hot, sticky weather. So it's rained today and it's just very warm and very, you know, it feels damp. But there's no wind to sort of take it away. It's, everything's just so stale. So I, want, I, want, I really want to breeze. I've had to donate my fan to Hugo tonight because obviously his room's got, got very hot. So guide me, O thou great redeemer, or Jehovah, pilgrim through this a barren land to the tune Korontha. Great tune, great, great tune. Let's have a little bit of fun with this one, shall we?
don't you disturb, hate it when the procession takes a long time and you've got to fill in. <laughs> I, I actually, if, if you know that the procession is not going to be finished in time before the end of the final verse, it just sometimes makes more sense to improvise or fill before the last verse and after the penultimate verse, because then you can really get the, um, the congregation really heated up, just ready in time for the um, final verse. And it's often quite funny to keep them guessing. <laughs> when, it, when are you going to put down that dominant chord? <laughs> are they waiting for it? You might go towards it, but then you sort of just interrupt it and uh, do all sorts of naughty things. James, thank you very much for your request and for your 20. That's very generous of you, uh, my friend. And I can see you've got a five next to your name. So that's five months of uh, channel membership. So thank you very much. Glad you liked that. Um, right, where well, I've lost my train of thought now. Where are we going to? Um, <clears throat> oh yes. So actually we now have um, another plain song hymn which I, I've snuck in, that's why I've snuck in these plain song hymns, I hope you don't mind. Because <laughs> I do love a little bit of plain song. This is a gorgeous um, hymn, another one relevant for Corpus Christi, which is why I put it in. It's another hymn actually, words by uh, Thomas um, Aquinas. St. Thomas Aquinas dates, it says here, um, 1227 to 1274. Um, so this is a, another hymn relevant for Corpus Christi. It's, it's, it's a reflection on the Eucharist. Um, thee we adore, O hidden Saviour, thee, who in thy sacrament art pleased to be. Both flesh and spirit in thy presence fail, yet here in thy presence we devoutly hail. And the tune is Ador, um, Adorote. I think a lot of you will recognise the tune. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous playing song. Okay, are you ready? Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, tune, that isn't it? As, um, as Bill Ratey has just said, perfect for Eucharist and thus for Corpus Christi. 
Now, um, Bill, let me just quickly just, just uh, where are we? Bill, you sent in, you did send in some hymns for see Sunday. I've got them all here actually on my printout. But I did wonder whether you wanted me to play them on see Sunday, because the see Sunday is the 8th of July, I think. I thought you were getting them in, in advance. I mean, we could have those hymns on see Sunday if you like, if you, if you want to put those in an, a, a sort of a top five style email for me. Uh, and give me a little bit of context behind each hymn. I'd be delighted to play them on Sea Sunday, or if you want me to have one of them today. Uh, is it Sea Sunday in America? Perhaps it is, I don't know. But in this country, it's on the 8th of July. Um, Bill, are you sure? He said that it'll work for July. So it's up to you. If, uh, I'll have, uh, I'm happy to do one of them today, if you wish. But I just actually thought you were just being a little very, very organised and getting them sent in in good time, because it's a good list. Um, so, the, our, so our final uh, request now before we go into our today's top five comes in from our very own Anne Parsons, who has a wonderful screen, screen name of Andantino. Um, sometimes I think she's Allegro and sometimes I think she's Adagio. But today she's Andantino uh, and she's requested a hymn, um, an uplifting hymn, I think, um, a happy hymn. Uh, Longing for Light. Uh, longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gathered today. Music, I think music. Yes, music and the text are both by uh, Bernadette F uh, Farrell, or Farrell however you want to emphasise those syllables. Um, born in 1957, so maybe, maybe Bernadette's even watching. I don't know. If you are Bernadette, how do we pronounce your surname? But this is, this is a great tune. Um, we sung this a lot in, um, sort of out in the, real, in the real world. It is, it does the rounds. And rightly so, actually. Right, rightly so. Let me get some flutes fired up, along with the, um, the, uh, the 12th. Sorry, uh, yeah, the twelfth on the on the great or the Nazard, two and two thirds essentially. Um, and yeah, that'll do. That, that looks quite nice to me. Let's get. Should we get a solo solo reed stop as well? Let's get the clarinet because the clarinet is one of the greatest um, Henry Willis clarinets in the whole world. On Salisbury, it's one of them. I think there's a few by Henry Willis, but this is one of the finest. Okay, let's go. So it's more like one in a bar, this. I have quite a sort of a lengthy one in a bar, I think. And it sounds a little bit like this. <laughs>
There we go. So, wonderful tune there, uh, as requested by Andantino. I'm just seeing in the chat uh, whether Andantino is in. I think I just saw her. Oh, there she is. Throm, as Bill says. Uh, Caroline says, uh, Car Carol Caroline, do I pronounce that Caroline or Caroline? It's spelled, spelled differently to, to our Caroline. I know, <laughs> I know you, I think, once called yourself the other Caroline. Um, but Caroline Clark, Caroline Clark, learned this hymn whilst visiting Hinckley in England. Um, an endless song, loves to sing the high notes. Ooh. You're, a, you're, you're an ambitious soprano or an ambitious bass, perhaps? <laughs> um, Car <laughs> Carolyn, you just, you've written out your name. I know, I know how it's spelled, but that doesn't <laughs> tell me how it's pronounced. I'm going to go with Carolyn, because you haven't corrected me, so. <laughs> right, so that, that was the final pre-requested hymn. So when I say pre-requested hymn, I mean that was the final hymn that was put into the uh, BIS requests form, which has been going for a long time. It's amazing, actually, to have a look at the, um, the requests form, because... Um, I'm not sure where we're up to now, but it's it's well over a thousand, well over like uh, maybe it's several thousand. I'm not sure, but it's it's certainly in four figures, and we haven't we haven't had the requests form forever. It's only uh, in terms of VC, it's a relatively recent addition to the um, to the process, and we're gosh, there were so many requests in there going back over the weeks, and a lot of the requests have ended up in my iPad, so every week, just for a little bit of context, for every every week, every time I get a request, and it's a request that we've not had since I've been using this, I have to download it, find it on the internet, download it, or if you send it me through as a high quality scan, uh, put it into my, onto my iPad. So look at all of these hymns. There are nearly eight, 800 hymns on here. It's like one of the best hymnals in existence, because this is just, made up of essentially all of the most popular hymns, right? Because people actually want to sing it. So it's it's made up of what people want to sing. So I'm very proud of it. I wish I could sort of distribute it, but I can't because a lot of the, uh, the hymns in here are copyright, so I can't possibly um, distribute it. But it's very, very useful. I should say if, you, if you're an organist and you play hymns regularly at various churches, um, one of the things that I uh, am terrified of happening one day and I'm not anymore because I've got this, but I used to, when I used to play for weddings and funerals and services at churches, I would always take at least two hymn books because um, I didn't know what hymn book the church would have, right? And if it was a, a wedding, they might request a hymn. Um, that simply wasn't in the hymn book that was available in the church. And I just used to have anxiety dreams about turning up to a venue. And it has happened a few times, not with hymns, but other stuff where I have to play something and I haven't got the music. <laughs> it's like, well, what do I do? Uh, days bef you know, before these wonderful things existed. I do remember once having to play um, an Elgar. Uh, it was um, a Chanson de Matin or a Chanson de Nuit or something like that. Um, and it was, for a, it was for a wedding. And I'd completely forgotten that I'd been asked to play that. So I turned up at the venue and didn't have it and there was it, was, it, was, it wasn't anywhere to be seen because it was a village church um, and the only things that were in the organ bench were some very old crusty hymn books, um, you know, rusty paper clips and that sort of thing, <laughs> a few pencils. Um, and there was, Elgar was nowhere to be seen, but I did have the iPhone, which is up there now, which I'm looking into. But with it being, in, the, in this country, if you're out in, in, the, um, in the sticks in a village, you can essentially forget ever having any phone signal. So I, <laughs> minutes before the service started, I, I actually went outside and literally, literally hold, held my phone up to the air like that um, and Googled um, the Elgar piece and I just, just managed to download it in the nick of time and had to play it on this, on this tiny screen. And the guy who was uh, singing, he, I had a countertenor uh, singing with me and he had to, it was, it was literally, you know, an entire score in low quality, it wasn't even a high quality scan. It was a, a low quality uh, pick, I don't know what it was, but it was just, you know, I had to squint 
and he had to keep scrolling, and he couldn't, he could barely see it. It, it was ridiculous. So I think hopefully gone are those days because we've got the iPad. Anyway, so enough waffle for now. Um, oh, I've got another hymn here to play actually. Oh, um, this, oh, we'll have it afterwards. Let's have uh, uh, this top five now. So this is a top five as requested by our very own, I think, um, hymn requester who's requested more hymns than I think anybody in the world ever. Um, if there is a competition of people who have requested hymns in any format, in any party, in any community, I don't know of any other communities that you know have re regular re live request hymns like this in the world. Are there any? But I think Carmen Foster is probably the, the world leader of making requests. He sends through many hymns each week and and then puts live requests as well. So he, you know, he, he'll send in the top five, he'll send in hymns in the BIS requests form, which is here, and then he'll do live requests. So Carmen, you're a champion, um, and I think you are, you, you deserve a medal. <laughs> anyway, number five in Carmen's list. So I don't have a, I don't have a sort of a background into, uh, into what these hymns are for. So Carmen, as I'm doing this, can you in the chat now just give a little bit of context as to what um, these hymns are all about? Richard, I'm a she. I, sorry, did I refer to you as a as the opposite of a she, as a he? I don't know. Did I he she? Maybe. I, I apologise. If you're a she, you're a she. Um, you're one of the people. You need to put a picture of yourself. So look at look at Bill. Bill's got a picture of himself. He's got, he's got a hat on, he's waving, he looks very happy. Josh has got a very dapper picture. Do you, do you know what the word dapper means, Josh? It means very dashing. Um, Ian's got a picture of what looks like the Mc, uh, McDonald's logo. Um, uh, Iron Herd has got a banana skin. Pete's got a good picture. Dan Lickenbeck has got a good picture. Carmen, I think you ought to update your picture. And Brady as well, get your picture updated. And Tim as well, get your picture updated. Uh, Captain Liar has got a picture of a, 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 an Xbox controller. So number five in Carmen's list, God, I'm going on now. Uh, number five in Carmen's list is uh, Loving Shepherd of Thy Sheep. Keep thy lamb in safety keep. Nothing can thy power withstand. None can pluck me from my, uh, from thy hand to the tune Buckland. And Carmen says this. <laughs> Ian, I'm joking with you. Uh, I remember, I'm sure you have. I, I remember, he says, uh, Carmen says about uh, this hymn, Loving Shepherd of Thy Sheep. I remember singing this at school. Uh, I've always loved the melody and I've always loved the words. No, I think it, it, this, this hymn looks like quite a straightforward hymn. It's in 4-4, four, four. it's um, in sort of normal sort of um, meter, but I don't think I've ever seen this before in my life. So let's have a let's have a go. Do you mind if I just have a very quick sip of water if I do this? Very warm. <laughs> okay.
Okay, that was number five in Carmen's list. I'm very interested to find out what Carmen's top five are, actually, because, as we know, as Carmen has requested a lot. So out of all of the hymns that Carmen has requested, what is her favourite? Now, the next one is a, a well-known tune. Now, this tune it is very, very similar um, to another tune called... I can't even remember. Um... Oh, I can't, you, you, you will tell me, in fact, a little um, a, a, a shout out to someone who gets it first. Uh, but the, the, what Carmen has requested is, uh, ye servants of God, your master proclaim. Why is it opening up the wrong? Oh, yes, I know why. Let me just quickly um, go down to... Um, uh, ye servants of God, your master proclaim and publish abroad his wonderful name, the name all victorious of Jesus extol. His kingdom is glorious and rules over all. Richard Sedding it is the winner there. However, Richard, it's not to that tune, which is why I, I mention it, because it's to the tune uh, Leon's. Which is actually rather similar to the to the to that tune. Um, it starts a bit similar anyway, but then it goes off in a, a different direction. A comment says, "This very prolific hymn author Charles Wesley wrote this hymn and many other familiar tunes that we love. He wrote over six thousand five hundred hymns, and this is one of my favourites. Now that's an organ marathon and a half, isn't it? Six thousand five hundred hymns." Ooh, goodness me, that would be, um, I think that would then get, get into the world record territory of playing the organ non-stop, right? I'm sure we have the world record for playing the Bach, Scars from Bugen D minor back to back, but I think you have to have the world record brothers um, here, literally with a paper, a paper board, a, a paper, you know, um, clipboard, uh, making sure you do it properly. It's, on, it's all online. <laughs> Anyway, let's have a go, um, um, ye servants of God.
And I think just to scratch that itch of everyone, um, all those people who've been uh, saying that it's the other tune that they know, I'll just give you one verse of the tune um, uh, uh, Paderborn. the tune actually that I know as well to those words but hey it doesn't mean it's the uh, the right tune does it so that was number four taking us now into number three this is a lovely tune and lovely words as well uh, be thou my guardian and my guide uh, to the tune a bridge so be thou my guardian and my guide and hear me when I call let not my slippery footsteps slide and hold me, lest I fall. The Salisbury organ 32 is so love, wonderful from low C to F. It is, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I love this organ. I do. The Salisbury Cathedral organ is just heavenly, really heavenly. Okay, so um, wonderful tune, uh, words um, by um, Isaac Williams, and the melody at least, is by Isaac Smith.
<laughs> Andrew, it's quite high in E flat, isn't it? <laughs> I think I've, I've only ever heard that in D, actually. I've never seen that in E flat. I don't think I've seen it in C. No, I think I've, I've only ever seen it and played it in D. <laughs> he says, that's better. <laughs> I don't know. You tell, the, um, you t you tell the, the old ladies that at church on Sunday morning, get them to sing it all the way up there. <laughs> See their face on Sunday morning. I don't know why, but that always tickles me. Just whenever congregations have to sing high, it just tickles me. It's like when you hear a, um, a football, you know, a crowd at a sports match, football or rugby or whatever, soccer, and they're singing a chant, and it starts off in a very high key, and then you have to keep going, and, and, and you, see, you see all of these sort of burly, butch, you know, like military type men. It's really singing as high as he possibly can, <laughs> really going for it. I, uh, it just reminds me of a story, um, a time I had to play Silent Night. I may have mentioned this story before, but I had to play Silent Night uh, in a company and accompaniment to a, a military band for a Christmas carol service in a cathedral. Um, and they started it, so it's, it's normally in B flat, isn't it? They started in E flat. So, you know, it goes quite high in the, in the normal key anyway, but playing it up a fourth, <laughs> and the, the, the cathedral was full of squaddies, and they went for it. And it was just, I, it was one of the funniest things I've ever, ever heard. <laughs> Carmen, in down to your number two, my friend. Um, so, Carmen, I have to go to a different app for this one. And we have this. This is a this is a BIS favourite. Um, had this before. I think we actually had it last week. Um, I think um, Steve Richards sent in a very very naughty um, last verse harmonisation. <laughs> I'm just looking at some of your chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Margot, don't be silly. <laughs> An old lady to me is like someone in their 90s, like 90, 90 you know, like a Zimmer frame and, you know, hearing aid. You what, dear? That, that's, that's, that sort of image of an old lady, you know, not someone like yourself who... <laughs> don't look a day over 40, Margot, in your picture. <laughs> Anyway, so Carmen's number two, I should say. Let's let's keep let's let's stay focused. Um, I think the heat's going to go into our heads a little bit. Number two is an old favourite here. He says, and this hymn has been a favourite of mine over the years. Um, over the years, I've been hearing it, and it is well. I'm not even going to tell you what it is, simply because as soon as I play the first bar, you're like, oh yeah, this one again. <laughs> ready? I'll get a tuba ready, and you'll know what it is straight away.
we have someone finally join us. Hello. All right. Sounds like there's a brass band in here earlier. What, with the parping? Mm, that, was just, that was just my tummy. That chilli that you made for me earlier. Uh, well, I, I didn't make it tonight. <laughs> Well, it was it beers in the freezer. It wasn't that old. It was, you know, no, well preserved. It was lovely. I just just about managed to eat it in time. Although, okay, yeah, today's been a bit of a one of those manic days trying to get everything ready because we haven't really been here at all today. And getting VC ready takes a very long time to set up. Um, unsurprisingly, with all of your requests and getting the cameras and everything ready, there's a lot that happens behind the scenes each week. So we're on our final uh, request from um, our friend Carmen Foster, who's, oh, who's just said, hello, Caroline, my friends. dearest, welcome. Hello, hello. And, then, hello, and, hello. and Dantina says, hi, Caroline and Charlotte. Richard hello. says, hello, oh, Charlotte. She's awake, actually. She's... Is she awake, is she? I can't show you, but... Uh, sorry, can't we oh. really see? She is awake. She's quite warm, isn't she? It is warm. Quite warm. Warm. She got all right? Light, bright lights. Bright lights. Right, so number one in Carmen's list is, is a another, another BIS favourite. He says, "Everyone who knows this, everyone who knows me, knows that this hymn is one of my all-time favourites." What's that noise? What have you done? Uh, Van and Hugo's Van. Oh, it's the baby monitor. Yeah. <laughs> this is suddenly a very strange noise over there, like someone cutting the grass. Yeah. It's just the fan in Hugo's bedroom. Coming through the baby monitor. Sorry, I'll turn the volume down. Uh, um, Caroline and Richard, Carmen ends with, uh, I think that I could go on to a top 50 given the chance. 50, wow. Well, we could easily do a top 50 BIS hymns, it's couldn't a marathon, we? Isn't it? What did we do? Was it 25 hymns? Top 25? Mm. Or was it top 20? With the, with, like, the official BIS top 20, top where, 20. I, where I counted, I counted all of the um, requests over the years. That was a real team effort, that. So we had um, a real a, a group of people counting all of the hymns from all of the VCs, and they were all added up. And that took a long time to, to, um, to compile. But it was an official BIS list, so that's, a, I think that's, one of our, that's formally one of our best um, VCs, because it just contains all of your favourite hymns. Charlotte's got a mic now, look. Oh, God, that's, that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, keep it that end of her, I think, top end rather than, yeah, you know where. Um, right, otherwise you might get some parbs to compete with my tuba. Let's crack on with number one, um, which is a blind vern, or blind wern. Um, wonderful tune by William Rollins and words by Charles Wesley. So this is at least the second hymn in Carmen's list um, with words by um, Charles Wesley. So, three verses of this, and you know how this one goes, don't you? You've heard me play it a few times. It goes a little bit like this.
Oh, right, Kofi, you just uh, asked a question there. So, but you can, it, there's a link to the BIS requests form, which is in the description of, Andrew, give over, the, uh, which is in the description of this video. Um, click that link and then you can leave a request uh, during the week um, and then I'll play that next week. Um, so if you want to make you know, requests in advance, that's absolutely fine. But actually, personally, it actually, you know, super chats aside, it's much more fun to go live with it, to be honest, um, because it just makes it more, much more spontaneous and you can go with the, go with the flow. Um, and actually, it's really helpful to BIS and to me if you're able just to drop in a, you know, a quid or something into the chip jar. Just like Tim and Lisa Cook have just done. And there's not a request for tonight, but a donation to say thank you for playing my request last uh, last night, which was the VN, uh, when I wasn't watching live. Oh, you're very welcome, Lucy. You're very welcome indeed. Um, okay, so now, what are we going to do now? So, Oh, is it that time? It's, it's the time to Lovely. have well, live looks requests. Like lift high the cross. This one's come from Margo, <laughs> is Although it? Although I noticed the text come through, life high the cross. <laughs> Life high. Life high the cross. Uh, so, lift high the cross. This one is a popular hymn. It has about a million verses, doesn't it? Are you going to play them all tonight, Richard? No, just, no, just four. Well, it has four on the refrain, so it's not too bad. I thought lift high the cross. No, no that's, that's another one you're thinking of. No, it's got loads of verses. You're missing some there. Well, no, no, no. I'm sure it's got about eight verses. It is, it's one of those processional hymns, I think, isn't it? Anyway, because it's, I think it's quite relevant for a procession, Lift High the Cross. I'm going to see how many verses it has in, in this book here. <clears throat> I think four's all right, four plus the refrain. That's basically eight, isn't it? So I, think, I don't think any more than that. I still want to find out how many... So, Margo, here. thank you very much. You've requested, um, yeah, you've sent in $50. 50 that's really generous, Margo. Thank you so much for that. Uh, in honour of 35 years of marriage to my best friend, Robert. Oh, that's wonderful. Eleven verses. <laughs> you know, Eleven verses. This <laughs> book here. Yeah, don't don't encourage her. I can't look. Look at it out. Look, that look. looks like something a cat. They don't want, Is that Hugo's food? That they he's don't want. They, on don't, it? they don't want to see that. I think that's actually something Hugo's food. Yeah, but, food. yeah, they don't want to see that, do they? They don't want to see they do. splatter they want to see food on a hymn books. They want to see our hymn books they being want, well looked after in in pristine condition. Well, that one hasn't been gifted to us. That, to be fair, that's one that we already own. Right. So if Hugo, if Hugo had to throw yeah. at any food, any book, it would be that one. Well, this is this is a hymns for refreshing worship. Don't forget. So <laughs> you have to <laughs> a little bit of refreshing food on the back. <laughs> Eleven verses then. No, four. <laughs> that's the refrain. But those will be here until next Thursday. Um, so, Margaret, thank you very much for your 50. That's really generous. Really, really generous. Um, and Tim, yes, you have made a request for some howls, haven't you? Let's, I'll think about oh, that. I think he's learning it. Oh, are you? Oh, I think he's learning it, yeah. I'll, I'm going to play this. I've got, a, I've, got, I've got a different... Let's try this. Let's try this camera. This one might not Look, work. Look, this song, Always Fun When I Come In. See? Yeah, but he's written his name wrong. So there, might, that, yeah. there is a Carolyn Clark in the chat. There is Carolyn. So yeah, I think that then the song is talking about Carolyn Clark.
thought I'd give you that screen because the stops on that screen are exactly in the same place as they are in real life. So if you see me sort of going for stops over here or over here on this screen, you can see exactly what stops I'm pulling out. Actually, is the, yeah, the microphone's open on that one. Perhaps I should have gone for that one. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so that was for Margot. Thank you very much, Margot. Let's get a play sure. song next, as featured in the coronation. Oh, yeah. Is that, Carmen has been very generous and has um, gifted $20 in the chat tonight, so Carmen's getting um, six requests. <laughs> But everyone, as loves, I, as everyone I, loves to hear Benny Cray after all. I spirit. said earlier on that I think Carmen, because um, I, I, I was just wondering how many other uh, forums are there in the entire world, in the world, where so many hymns are requested on such a regular basis. Um, and I think that we, there aren't many, and I think we, Virtual Church, have the most requests from anywhere on a regular basis. And our crowning hymn requester is Carmen Foster. And I think by definition, Carmen, I think, is the world leader of requesting hymns. Would you like some toast? She wasn't even since what I was saying. No, Carmen is the world leader of requesting hymns, but then I heard my toast pop up. Yeah, then you, you, your brain went into priorities. Like, oh, I've got to think about my toast. No, I don't want any toast. I've had, a, I've had loads of chili, thank you. What, what will I want toast for? Just checking. I'm boiling. You've played about 50 I'd hymns I'd rather have tonight. something cold. You've played about 50 hymns, you might be hungry. So come Holy Ghost, Veni Creator, wonderful, wonderful hymn with the doxology, not doxology, the final sort of um, verse at the end. It's, I received the living God, and my heart is full of joy, that one. Here's my toast. David Fletcher, you're in good company. This has got Marmite on it, which Richard can't stand. Do you have Marmite in the USA? I don't think you do. Do you have Vegemite? I don't think they're the same, but I'm having Marmite on toast. I know, and we can all smell it as well. <laughs> You'll hear me crunch it in a minute with my... No, don't crunch it on the microphone. 
It's, how unprofessional is that? <laughs> you should never eat on an open microphone. You should never drink either on an open microphone. That's rude. But sometimes it's, it's still hot in here. When you've had 50 hymns in 30 degree heat, you're allowed. I know. I wonder how hot it is in here. To that I right Donna hate Marmite. Oh. So who, sorry, who requested this? Endless song. Um, yeah, endless song. Jesus said, I am the bread. Tune living God. Okay, this one looks like a new one. Well, no, you have played it because you've played this whole hymn book. Well, I know. F fair enough, I have played the entire hymn book. How could we forget that? Just about recovered. So let's have a go at this one then. Thank you very much to Endless Song for requesting that. I haven't played that apart from the um, in the marathon. So it's nice to have that nice one. Nice hymn. Yeah. There's a nice, there's a nice flow about it. The next, the next hymn has been requested by Elizabeth Brown. And it's Let Us Build a House Where Love Can Dwell and All Can Safely Live, a place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace, here the love of Christ shall end divisions, 
And the refrain is, all are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. And it says, turn over for verses four and five, which are the same, is the same harmony. Well, I'll have to turn over just in case something goes different. Um, this is actually the final hymn request, so... Um, Brilliant. Have you had any requests for organ pieces or voluntaries? Well, actually, Tim has oh, wants me to play a bit of Howl, so mm -hmm. we're on the right organ for some Howl, so I thought I might do some Howls tonight. Lovely. Have we got anyone new tonight? Is anyone in for the first time? Um, if there's any, anyone isn't for the first time, please do let us know, and we will... Um, welcome you with open arms. Yes, as Johan has just pointed out, all are welcome in this place. Sounds like BIS. Sounds like that to me, doesn't it? Okay, so let's get the mutations. So, uh, there's some important chat going on about Marmite. Oh, God. It is, um, officially they say it's yeast extract. It's, just, it's salty and it's savoury and you either literally either love it or you hate it. Richard can't stand it. I love it. We've got... <laughs> and, it, Toby, famously. who's in, in for the first time. Hello, Toby. Oh, Toby, hello. Okay, shall we crack on with this hymn? Leonardo, it's his first time. Welcome, Leonardo welcome. Kimura. Welcome indeed. Welcome. You're very welcome. Oh, and somebody, oh, um, Michael Thompson, just to thank you for all you do, your help work videos help me switch from piano to organ. I've got a beautiful console by, by, built by UHT. Well, these keyboards are built by UHT in Germany, and I'm having so much fun with the fantastic... Piotr Grabowski, sir. So welcome, Michael. I don't know if you've been in before, but thank you for your donation. Your Hello, comments. Michael. Yeah, so these, these, these keyboards are indeed UHTs, and they're beautiful, aren't they? Anyone who plays them um, just says straight away how nice they feel. Perfect weight to them. They are world-class keyboards. Before BIS, I thought UHT was a type of milk that you <laughs> ate when you were crossing the channel in, in, a, in, a, in a yacht when there was no fridge. Because that's what, as a girl, that's what we did. We had, didn't have a fridge in our boat, so when we went to France, we always had a stash of UHT milk.
Well, that's a very relevant um, hymn, I think, for everyone watching. Um, the refrain, all are welcome in this place. And anyone that particularly who is new, you are indeed very welcome. So I think I will play a piece now um, by Herbert Howells for Tim. Did Tim say he's learning this? Yes, I think so. I think he said that last week. Yeah, well, we'll have this. Uh, I'll play this for, for Tim. Uh, this is not my copy, so that there's none of my markings oh, in no. here. Do you want me to go and get it, or will I not find it? You'll not find it in that um, catastrophically <laughs> unmessy room. No, don't worry, it's just too, it'd be too stressful. Um, and by the time you found it, I'll be on the last page anyway. <laughs> um, so I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who's joined in tonight, joined in the fun, um, all the chats. I can just see people's names here, so all the super chats. I mean, so uh, uh, Heike. Uh, Margot uh, Thomas, uh, Carmen Parrish, James, Elizabeth Brown, and Le Song, uh, um, Simbella, Simbala, uh, Richard Fitzgerald, um, Ian, Tim and Lucy, Michael Thompson, and a few new members as well. So David's a new member, Thomas is a new member, and, and Heike is a new member. So thank you very much everyone for your donations, and thank you for joining uh, the channel memberships. You can join via channel memberships on straight on YouTube or you can become a Patreon over on patreon.com forward slash beauty and sound. Take your pick. You Hello Katie like listening to. from Ghana. That's so cool. People listen from every continent. It's so exciting. It is, isn't it? It is. And thank you Michael and someone else who just became David who just became channel members. Thank you. Yeah. And hi Jerry. It's nice to have you back. Jerry Moore. Hey, where's Jerry? He's just in a super chat and said thank you for a wonderful CBC. Oh, there he is. Thank nice you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yep. It's great to have Jerry back. Oh, with a smiley face. Jerry, of course, has had the privilege of, of singing in Salisbury Cathedral as a visiting choir. I know. It's a wonderful place, isn't it? All the way from North America. I think that's really cool. Right. Let's have a go at this howl. So this is um, Psalm Prelude um, number one. And I can't remember which psalm. This is Psalm 34, I think. But I can't remember which, which verse is. Um, Hello, it Patrick, is based on. Leone. Sorry. If someone on in the chat, someone will know which um, verse of Psalm, I think it's thirty-four. Um, this particular Psalm fairly is based on. Tim, I think you'll probably know. Um, write to Tim a chat, and that will give people a bit of context as to why Howells chose that particular verse and how he's word painting those words. I think we should have a go through this. I'm not we, just you. Oh, Charlotte can help you. <laughs> She's got biscuit crumbs on her now, because I just had a biscuit. <laughs> She's got biscuit crumbs. She has, actually. She'll be, she'll be getting really itchy. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Oh, right, <laughs> here we go. Here's the song prelude <laughs> number one from the set one. So this is actually song, number, song prelude number one of six.
So um, Ian Garden has just written in the chat, um, Psalm 34, verse 6. Lo, the poor crieth, and the Lord heareth him, yea, and saveth him out of all his troubles. Um, Howell's first set of psalm poetry was written in 1915, at the time when he was diagnosed with Graves' disease and was given six months to live. And then proceeded to live until he was in his 80s, I think. Yes. <laughs> so he died in, uh, he was born in 1892 and bore, uh, died in 1983. Yes, well, someone was born in that year. Uh, well, 1892. Well, it wasn't Charlotte. Well, yeah, well, yeah, 1892, yeah. <laughs> right, I think we should draw VC to a close there. I had some wonderful hymns tonight, so thank you very much for your Bobby. requests. Thank you very much, Carmen, for your top five. Bobby. Thank you very much for your donations. And, of course, thank you very much, uh, Josh Wilson, for um, helping out behind the scenes, keeping a track on all of your requests, making sure that I play them all and keeping me in shape. Um, Bobby is co around, a, a Coffee I, I... has just said, Hi Richard, hope you and your family are doing well. Just got back from our honeymoon and had a wonderful oh, time. Congratulations. So congratulations indeed for your we, honeymoon. We, this has happened since you <laughs> had your wedding and your honeymoon coffee. We had baby and Charlotte. Thank you very much Coffee for your donation just now. That's very kind. It's very I kind. I hope the wedding and the honeymoon were where did you have your honeymoon? Did she, did she put it in the chat? She might have put it in the chat a few weeks ago where she was going, I can't remember. Oh gosh, it is warm in here, isn't it? Tim said know. he instantly knew where he was going wrong, he placed the, the opening too slowly. Tempo was too was Tim, well, it, oh yeah, you can't play it too slowly at the beginning because... Four beats in the bar, four quaver beats in the bar there. And then when you get to um, the tempo where it's um, the triple forte, um, I, this bit, this should be sort of a double the speed. So he actually writes uh, my stoso uh, with a double the speed of the first movement. So it, it should actually be, the, the, the beat should be the same. So get the beat of the, o the opening in your mind. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then then there's the, 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 the climax. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. That should be double the speed. So the accelerando, you need to uh, basically go through an accelerando equal to 100% time change, if you see what I mean. So that's, that's the hard thing about this piece, getting the crescendo and the accelerando. Right, so good night everyone. You guys, you take care and I will see you next week. I hope that you've all seen the fact that I'm now sampling organs. It's now out there in the wild. I've announced it. Um, the first organ that I've uh, sampled uh, is, of course, the organ, the wonderful organ of Romsey Abbey, an organ that I know very well. Um, there's a video online on BIS talking to you about the organ sampling, um, a little bit of the, about the process, about the organ. And in the next video uh, that we do about the uh, sampling, I will introduce you to the BIS team. Because there are three of us in the team, and I'm very, very excited that we have some talented people in the team. More so, more talented than I am. Before we wrap up, I just saw Elizabeth Brown's name in the chat. She wrote something really lovely. She said, these sound preludes are particularly poignant for us. When they had their firstborn, it was a newborn, this sort of age, yep. her, her husband used to serenade her on, the, on his practice organ th with these pieces, the Psalm Preludes by Hans. Wow. And they lived in a small flat I, in London, yeah. and the practice organ was at the foot of their bed, because that was the only place that it would fit. Excellent. So she said, they, these pieces bring back very fond memories. That's nice. Number, number two is nice, an E-flat. That's quite a delicate one, isn't it? With a, a slight crescendo. That one works, just before a service. They're all nice, actually. Cool. Good night everyone, you take care, you stay safe, and if you haven't already, please click the like button on this uh, video, and please do leave me a comment on the video, because I love seeing your comments, and if you haven't clicked like, it just really helps um, the promotion of the YouTube, and it might just get a bit more of a wider audience. That's why I ask us to click like, it's a very easy thing to do. So thank you very much everyone, 
I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Cheerio.